Hi, my name is Chris and this is Battle Nonsense. Earlier this year I did an input lag analysis for Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. The results were quite good, however there was one issue. The first shot always had a lot more delay than the follow-up shots, unless you press the right mouse button to aim before you took the shot. This could then lead to situations where you felt that you pressed the fire button before the enemy player shot you, but you still died as your gun did not fire instantly due to the first shot delay. As it turns out there was a bug involved here, but it's not the first shot delay, which is actually a game mechanic as the animation and gameplay lead for PUBG explained to me on Twitter. The bug was that one of the previous updates, I guess that it was the one which introduced the vaulting animations, removed the relaxed state animation, which made this mechanic impossible to read for the player. The developers now brought this animation back in one of the recent updates, so let's take a look at how that works now. So the default state is the relaxed state, which means that your gun always points at the ground instead of where you see the crosshair. When you press the fire button then your character must first raise the gun, and it will stay there as long as there are less than 3 seconds between the follow up shots. To avoid that first shot delay you can simply press the right mouse button to aim. 3 seconds after you stop to aim the character will then enter the relaxed state again. This mechanic affects both the first and third person perspectives, however it is easier to read in the first person perspective simply because you get a better look at the model of your gun there. Now let's compare the delay of the first shot to the delay of the follow up and shots that you take while you aim down the side of your gun. But first how do I measure the input lag of a game? In the description down below you can find a link to my input lag analysis for PUBG where I explain how I do my tests. But very simply put I've connected an LED directly to the switch of my left mouse button. So in this high speed recording you can then see the delay between pressing the left mouse button and the game responding to that input. This example then clearly shows how much longer that first shot delay is compared to a follow up shot. And in the final example you can see how much longer that first shot is compared to a follow up shot or the first shot while aiming. So previously players didn't know that the gun was pointing at the ground, which made the first shot delay very confusing. Now that this animation is back, players are able to understand why the first shot has so much more delay, and they can adapt their playstyle to avoid that it gets them killed. But what do you think about this mechanic? Does it make the game more realistic and challenging, or is it unnecessary and frustrating? The animation and gameplay lead designer said that they might remove the delay in the future, but keep their relaxed state animation. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. So that's all for today. If you enjoyed this quick update on PUBG's first shot delay issue, then it would be great if you could support me on Patreon as YouTube's ad revenue is sadly not enough anymore to run a niche channel like mine. Without the awesome support that I get from my patrons, battle nonsense would simply not exist anymore. You can find a link to my Patreon in the description down below, where you can also find links to my social accounts in case that you want to stay up to date on the videos that I'm working on. So if you enjoyed this video then please give it a like, subscribe for more and I hope to see you next time. Until then have a nice day and take care, my name is Chris and this was Battle Nonsense.